Hello again. Welcome back to the card mat. Nice one. It's a, it's a nice trick you can throw in. If you're doing a four ace routine, if you're doing eight, six with aces, and, you know, we're twisting the aces or vanishing and finding the aces, anything like that, this is a nice trick to throw into it. You get your deck and you can give it a shuffle. Spectator can give it a shuffle. Anyone can give it a shuffle. As long as they can shuffle. Then you have three cards selected. Any three cards at all. Any three besides that one. And this one. Or that one. But any, any of the others you can have. So say you want that one. And say you've been there and you're taking one that I might have pointed to. Because I can't remember now. And you're taking that one from up that end. So you've gone and took three cards. Right. At this point it doesn't matter if I get to see them. It doesn't matter. Because I'm, I'm not going to. It's not meant to. That, yeah you'll see. King of Diamonds, Eight of Diamonds and Three of Clubs. The three selected cards. Now the three selected cards are going straight back into the deck. Like that, in different places. As you can see, they are going into the deck. In completely different places, away from each other. Alright? So they're all in there somewhere. Uh, King of Diamonds, Three of Diamonds. And, well, I'll remember them when I get back to them. I say all I've got is the four aces. And what these four aces are going to do, is one by one, they're going to go into the pack. Well, onto the pack, and then disappear into the pack because they're going in to try and find your three cards and they keep going in until there's just a one left on the top then he just wants to be cut into the middle like that <sighs> now it's just a waiting game now isn't it they'll let us know when they're ready No, still can't hear nothing. They're on with the YTV. Okay, they're ready now. Okay. So, if you go through the pack now, oh, look at that, straight away. There we go, four aces in the middle. Can we see that? Can, can, can we see that? Is that, is, is that shown on camera? Are we getting this on film? They've actually caught a card each. And if I just leave them cards there and get the aces down here. You get your medals in a bit, if you get them right. Right, we had the King of Diamonds, I remember that, because I did say that, and we had a, a, an Eight of Diamonds and a Three of Clubs, yeah. They were the three cards, I remember them now. They were the cards. And so you can throw that in the middle of one of your little ace routines. Dead nice trick. Quite easy to do, I suppose. You will have to find your own way of doing what i done, unless you can do what i done. You'll see in a minute. What you do, get a deck, give it a shuffle. Spectator can shuffle, next door's dog can shuffle it. Ah, Parrot can shuffle them, but he eats them. You get three cards selected. Any three cards, doesn't matter, so we'll just take them three cards there, since it doesn't really matter. And you get the three cards looked at and noted, so they didn't know what the cards are. Two of diamonds, ten of spades, and the eight of hearts. Not that we really need to remember, because we're not really going to lose them. Now, what you can do is get them one at a time and put them into the deck and then just do a uh, double undercut. What was that first one? Two of diamonds. I hope it was anyway. It bloody is now anyway. So you work that to the top. Yeah. And then to get the next one to the top, a bit more tricky because you've got to try and keep that one there, haven't you? So you could always get that and push that into the packet and then just do a little slip cut and cut like that to keep them two to the top. Oh, now you got to get the third one to the top. Ooh, with keeping them two at the top at the same time. Hmm. Right. Um. You might know of a way of doing this. I'm pretty stuck besides doing a push through, pull out, and put to the top. That's about the only way I can think of doing that to keep all three together. The way I done it in the performance was the same as that last one, but with three cards at the same time. Cards are going in in different places. You push on an angle, push it down, pull three cards down with your thumb. You can see there, there's three cards. And then you do the same thing, you kick all three out, and then you bend them and bring them all to the top in one go, as I did, because I'm clever. Well, I like to think I am. And you get all three cards to the top anyway. Whatever happens, you get their three cards to the top of the deck. Yeah. Then you pick up the four aces and throw them onto the top of the packet. And then you spread them out. But spread the three cards. 
and catch your brake. Then pick everything up from the brake, slide off the first ace, put the packet down. Then you slide off three aces and two cards. Don't slide the third card. However many aces you've got, you take one card less facing down, right? So you've got three aces, you're taking two cards. Catch your break. Peel off the top ace, put the cards on. <laughs> one of them. And then you're doing that. Then you close, not getting a break underneath that card. Putting it on the top. Then you're only spreading the ace. Because you can't spread that one. Obviously. You can put it on the top. If you want to, you can go into doing like a, a classic pass to get all of them into the middle. You could do uh, the Herman pass to get them into the middle. You could do the little turnover pass that I, I like doing, like that, to get them into the middle. Or you could just, as I did, cut them into the middle. Anyways, fine. A little bit of a do 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 do. Give them time, give them time, they'll find the crime. I did try this, but I didn't think it'd actually work in the performance, so I, I bottled out of doing it in the performance. But since this is the tutorial, it doesn't matter if it knackers up. A nice way to find them is going down, and the first ace should naturally appear. And then you can go, I've got an ace, that one shouldn't have fell. I'll try it again. You just riffle them down slowly from the corner, and once that first ace drops, again, that one got away. You go, I've got an ace. Just up jog. I've got a card. Oh, I don't see many. Good job I didn't do this in the performance. It would look really silly, wouldn't it? <clears throat> you drop an ace. You drop a card. You drop an ace. You drop a card. You drop an ace. You drop the packet. You can spread it out then. That all four aces I've caught three cards. It's just a nice fancy way of doing it, if you can do it that way. I obviously can't do it that way, so... <clears throat> And then you find that you have got the Eight of Hearts, the Two of Diamonds, and the Ten of Spades, which was their three cards. Don't lie to me, I see them. And that's it. I see it's a nice little filler in a little ace routine. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, nice little filler in a little ace routine. Give a bit of practice, have some fun with it. It's just getting ooh, the strength in your fingers, really. But when you're putting these in, because you're using three cards to get them to all bend, it's just getting the power in your fingers to be able to do that and then get them straight to the top. But you'll be fine. I know you will. I know you. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.